ever question if you should be an LLC or an S Corp? Many businesses around a certain period of time, they start to think about this and there are a lot of videos and a lot of information in the marketplace, but I don't really see other fractional CFOs explaining this and showing you the numbers. And so today I'm going to deep dive into the tax saving difference, a high level overview of that with being an LLC versus an S corporation. Welcome to the Say Yes to Profit show. I am Octavia Connor, a CFO who helps service-based entrepreneurs implement the financial systems, strategies, and solutions to increase cash flow, reduce taxes, generate wealth, and say yes to profits. Say Yes to Profits is a full-service accounting firm based in Atlanta, Georgia, but we service clients nationwide. Again, welcome to the Say Yes to Profits show. to you today just like every day <laughs> today's episode is about the tax difference between an llc versus an s corp and this s corp could be an llc taxed as an s corporation now there's a huge savings that you could receive depending on your business and so what i'm going to do today is show you one of those tax savings now this episode is powered by the cash flow blueprint master class this masterclass is all about helping you eliminate your cash flow problems and begin to have an excess of cash flow in your business. The masterclass will take place virtually on March 28th at 2 p.m. To register for the masterclass, go to say yes to profits masterclass dot com say yes to profits masterclass dot com let's get into some numbers here so i'm gonna have my calculator because we're gonna work on this together right so let's say your company is an llc right now all right and so let's say that revenue wise you earn two hundred and fifty thousand dollars okay let's say that your expenses came to $150,000. That means at the end of the year, you're going to have a net profit of $100,000. Now, let's do the math on this. Off top, as an LLC, you're going to immediately pay self-employment taxes. Now, as of the date of this video, self-employment taxes is 15.3%. Let me write that better so y'all can make clear understanding of my chicken scratch. So, self-employment taxes, again, is 15.3%. That is going to be $15,300. Of this business okay now let's say that you are an S corporation okay so let's do an S corp let's make this a little smaller I'm gonna bring this over okay so let's say that you are an S corp let's take this same example here so again you earn $250,000, your expenses totaled $150,000, you have a net profit again of $100,000. Now, as an S Corp, one of the things that you absolutely must do is pay yourself a W-2 salary as the employee of the company and your W-2 salary must be considered in the IRS eyes a reasonable market-based salary. And so I always tell my clients, we, we go through an entire analysis with this IRS approved software. Now for the purpose of this episode, here's what I'm going to tell you. Think about everything that you do. Think about your technical title, your years of experience, and everything you do as the operations person, the CEO of your business, or what have you, okay? 
Think about that technical title and then go and do research on others that have the same experience, the same educational background, and that can do and will do the things that you're currently doing and what is a reasonable salary for that person. Your salary should be close, if not spot on, with some of the research that you see. Now, I also recommend that you speak with a CFO that will completely do an analysis of what your salary should be, okay? And if you don't have one, contact Say Yes to Profits, shameless plug. But let's get back to the episode. So let's say that this is all taking place and you realize that a reasonable salary for what you do is $50,000. So now you're gonna put the $50,000 in here as well. Your salary as a W-2 employee of the company is a tax deduction. So now you have this as a tax deduction and you have your salary as a tax deduction. Going back over here, as a LLC calling all service-based entrepreneurs and consulting firm owners. Do you find yourself consistently juggling expenses, barely making ends meet and scratching your head wondering where all of your hard-earned money has disappeared to? Are you sacrificing your salary and your personal friend just to keep your team paid and your business afloat? Does your business go through this feast or famine mode depending on the time of the year? Like one month, cash is coming in good, everything is great, and then the next month, you don't know what you're gonna do. Or picture this, you're cruising along, making progress, growing your business, you're doing the thing, and then boom, out of nowhere, an unexpected expense blindside you and knock your bank balance and your savings to a scary amount. If you've ever felt fed up with the relentless struggle of cash flow in your business, you are not alone. And guess what? It is time to put an end to the cash flow frustrating cycle. Therefore, I'd like to invite you to the Cash Flow Blueprint Masterclass. This game-changing class will empower you to say bye-bye to all of your cash flow struggles, say goodbye to your sleepless nights, and hello to a future where you smile when you log into your bank account. Listen, to join me, register right now at sayestheprofitsmasterclass.com. It's going down on March 28th at 3 p.m. Don't allow your cash flow challenges to hold your business back any longer. Come join me, sayestheprofitsmasterclass.com. And if you register as a VIP, you will start today with prospering, with growing your business, with having a positive cash flow, with all of the bonuses that's going to be provided. Again, go to sayestheprofitsmasterclass.com. I'll see you at the masterclass. Toodles. Your salary is not tax deductible, as well as you should not be a W-2 employee of this company if you are just a single member LLC. You see, an LLC, a single member LLC, is considered a disregarded entity on the federal level, right? So it's kind of like a sole proprietor. So when you take your pay out as the owner of the company, you simply need to make a transfer from the business to the personal or write a check, and that's gonna go under equity for the company when it is an LLC. And your salary, again, is not tax deductible, okay? So you don't receive taxes on the money that you take out of your company as an LLC. When you shift back over here to an S corporation, your salary is tax deductible and you have things as such as distributions that you can take out of your business. Now, when you think about your distributions, your distributions in most cases should not be higher than your W-2 salary, okay? You do not want to get audited for something called unreasonable salary as an S corporation. So make sure that you handle that the absolute right way. Once you do, and let's say again, you have a annual salary from your business of $50,000, your salary is a tax deduction for the overall company, that leaves you with a net profit of $50,000, okay? Now, as an S Corp, as an LLC, when you earn this net profit, it's gonna flow to your personal taxes, all right? And on the personal tax side, you can be taxed anywhere between 10% 
all the way up to about 37%. So it's good to save, especially if you are a business owner, about 35-ish percent of the money that is coming into your business. Now let's further do some math. Now, let's say for this LLC, the amount that you sent to your personal was here. That was your net profit. If we tax that, at 35%, $35,000 is what you can potentially pay in what is called income taxes, okay? Let's go over here to your escort. Now, once your escort makes this net profit of $50,000, if we take that times 35%, your possible net income amount would be 17,500, okay? Now this is just a high level overview because you may even have more legal and ethical ways you can reduce your taxable income, all right? But this is just showing you the difference between an LLC and an S corporation. As an LLC, you have self-employment taxes of 15.3%. If you notice, I didn't say anything about self-employment taxes over here because as an S-Corp, they go away, right? And then once you get to the real bottom line and this money flows to your personal tax return, as an LLC, if you're thinking about an average of a 35% tax rate or tax bracket, you're gonna have income taxes around $35,000. Now this is contingent upon how you file your business and personal taxes, okay? So let's be clear on that. Don't be in my comments saying nothing extra. This is contingent upon all of that. This is a high level overview. When we go over here to your S corporation, once you take your 50,000 as the owner of the company, you receive a tax deduction. That lowers your taxable income. The way to pay the smallest legal amount possible in taxes is to lower your taxable income, right? And so your salary does that. Then when it flows through to your personal side, if we take a net income, percentage of 35%, your potential taxes is $17,500. Do you want to pay $15,300 plus $35,000 or do you want to pay $17,500? Which one do you really want to pay in your business? This is the difference between an LLC and an S corporation. Now, if you have any questions or comments, definitely leave those below, all right? And make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And thank you for joining me for another episode. And until next time, say yes to profits. Toodles! Thank you for watching the Say Yes to Profit show. Make sure you download the resources given in this episode. And follow me on Instagram, Octavia Connor CFO. And always remember, say yes to profits.